I feel like a kid where they're like, do you want to see my DVD collection? But in reality, I am going to show you my entire DVD and Blu-ray collection. Hello everyone, my name is Olivia and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I talk about books and movies and TV shows and everything in between. And today I wanted to show you my entire physical media collection. I'm a really big proponent of collecting your favorite shows and movies physically because we have learned within the last couple of years how fickle streaming services and digital media can be. Things can be easily taken off of streaming services, never to be seen again. And it's somewhat scary to have a favorite TV show that is an original on a streaming platform and then have it taken away and you have no other way of seeing it. For me, that is Summer Camp Island and they took it off of HBO Max and now I have no other way of seeing it. So before streaming services were even a thing that I used, I began collecting my favorite movies on DVD and Blu-ray because I just wanted the ease of access to be able to watch my favorite movies without having to sign up to a new streaming platform, try and find on a streaming platform in general or even have to rent it. A great way to begin collecting DVDs and Blu-rays is to actually go to your thrift stores. They have so many DVDs there that are worth like one dollar and they are just a great and simple way to find your favorite movies physically so you don't have to rely on streaming platforms because if your favorite movie is taken away then you're probably going to have to pay five dollars to go see it if you want to rent it online and instead you could just pay like five dollars at a thrift store if your favorite movie movie is there and you can own it physically. So some of these I have gotten at thrift stores, other ones I have ordered online. It really varies in between. I don't remember where I got every single one of these, but I do want to show you all the movies and shows that I own physically to kind of share my collection and to remind you that physical media is really important if you care about your favorite movies, if you care about your favorite shows, and you want to own them forever because, like I said before, streaming platforms are just not reliable in my eyes, so I would rather own my favorite pieces of media physically than rely on those platforms that can easily be taken away, that can easily be curated according to whatever company owns it. So the first movie that I have here is Clue. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's in my top four of Letterboxd, and I think my cousins actually gave me this copy. They own a lot of movies physically and they gifted me this copy of Clue because I loved it so much when I saw it at their house. And I love owning this one physically because this one always changes what streaming platform it's on. So now I can just like own it physically, watch it whenever I want, and I won't have to worry if it's even available on streaming. Then I have Rebel Without a Cause. I love collecting old Hollywood movies on DVD because they are few and far to come by on streaming services because they are older movies. So I just love collecting my favorite old Hollywood movies physically. I actually got this copy of Pride and Prejudice at a thrift store for one dollar. I am so happy with the fact that I own this physically because this is also one of my favorite movies of all time and to get it for a dollar is such a steal. That's why I always tell people, if you go thrifting often, check out the movie collection because they have some pretty good titles. You just have to really be patient and search through them, but you could probably find a favorite movie of yours that you can then own physically. When HBO Max was doing their really scary purge and they were getting rid of a lot of animated shows, I quickly bought myself a copy of Over the Garden Wall because this is one of my favorite animated shows of all time. I watch it every single year around autumn time and I wanted to own a copy because I was kind of worried if HBO Max was going to delete this off of their streaming service and then I wouldn't have the opportunity to see it. So now I own it and I don't have to worry and I can watch it whenever I want. I also have a copy of Inglorious Bastards. This is the only movie that I truly enjoy by Quentin Tarantino and it is also one of my favorite movies of all time. It is bonkers, it is amazing, it is just... A feast for the eyes. My friend Michelle thrifted a screener of The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies for me, and this is such a cool copy. It has some shots from the movie. It has a little summary of the movie as well, and then it has all its nominations on the back. It is just a beautiful edition of this movie, and I'm just so glad that Michelle was able to thrift this for me. Next is Holiday Inn. I actually haven't seen this movie yet, and it's obviously a Christmas movie, so I definitely do have to watch it during Christmas this year. This is actually pretty surprising. I did not know I owned a copy of The Godfather, but apparently I do. So now I can rewatch it whenever I want, because this is also a feast for the eyes, one of the best movies ever, just pure chaos, wonderful, so iconic. 
I'm really glad I own this. I didn't know I own this. The next movie I have is a movie that I was obsessed with as a teen. This was the movie that I just couldn't stop thinking about. It was just a movie I rewatched over and over again. And it is Step Up Revolution. I love the Step Up movies. I love movies where people are dancing. It is just so fun to watch as someone who doesn't know how to dance that well and it is just such a fun time like the step up movies are so iconic and so just fun and the step up revolution movie was my favorite because ryan guzman oh my god he was beautiful i loved him he was like my teenage crush so i have a copy of step up revolution what streaming service has step up come on now I have it physically so I can watch it whenever I want. The next movie that I own physically is Skyfall and I don't know why I own this. I love James Bond. I think James Bond is just like a fun movie series but Skyfall is just such a random movie to own. I think I also own Casino Royale. I actually do have an entire binder of DVDs that are downstairs but I don't own like the physical box edition of each of those movies because I got rid of all the boxes. So I own like probably 200 more movies downstairs but I'm not going to go through my entire binder for you for this video it's just cooler to show you all the ones that I own that have a box so I own Skyfall I own Casino Royale no other James Bond movie very interesting I don't know why I made those decisions then I have a copy of V for Vendetta one of my favorite movies of all time fantastic amazing life-changing. When I went to California for the first time, I thrifted a copy of The Trial by Orson Welles because I read The Trial, which is by Franz Kafka, and I wanted to see the movie, but it wasn't available on any streaming service. So when I was in California and I was thrifting, I came across this copy and I thought, why not get it? I think this was also like one or two dollars, so it was totally worth the deal. But I still have not seen it yet. I definitely do want to see it because Orson Welles is in the movie and he directs it and I really do enjoy Orson Welles but I just have not gotten around to seeing it. Next, I own one of the most important artifacts in human history. It is the Blu-ray edition of the 25th anniversary live viewing of the Phantom of the Opera. This is one of the best performances of the Phantom of the Opera that you will ever see. The movie Erase the movie from your mind. That movie does not live up to how beautiful this performance is. The man who plays the Phantom of the Opera is one of the best singers that I have ever heard in my entire life and his performance as the Phantom is fantastic. Erase the movie from your mind, I beg of you. Whenever people say that the movie's good, I'm like, you have not seen the 25th anniversary edition of the Phantom of the Opera and it shows because this is so much better. This is pure art. One time I went thrifting at Book Off in New York City, which is a thrift store I would highly recommend going to because they have endless DVDs, Blu-rays, and even TV shows that you can collect. I got a copy of Roman Holiday for $5 and it is like the collection edition. So it comes in this really cool box set very pretty. Let's see what it has. This one has the feature film and then it has special features and this is just like a really nice edition of one of my favorite movies of all time. And again, Book Off in New York City has really great selections of collector's editions for DVDs, Blu-rays, and shows that I would highly recommend checking out if you also like collecting physical media. And then my friend Michelle also got me book one and two of Infinity Train, which I do believe is not available to stream anymore because of the whole HBO Max thing. So now I can watch it whenever I want and I'm really excited to start this because it looks right up my alley and the animation style it just looks really cute and adorable and it reminds me a lot of Summer Camp Island, Steven Universe, that type of vibe where it's just a very cozy, very magical type of show that actually has some like deep undertones to it. So I'm really excited to watch this. So that is the entire first pile. Now let's go into the second pile. So first we have the And Then There Were None movie. I love this movie so much. It's definitely one of my favorite book to movie adaptations of all time. This was originally on Lifetime in America, but BBC in the UK and it aired in two parts. So I think they're each two hours long. So it's a pretty long movie if you were to watch it all in one go but this is such a fantastic movie it is just so well done then we have some classic movies we have catching fire and the hunger games as you can tell i do not own copies of mockingjay because i do not enjoy the adaptation of mockingjay or the book mockingjay in general i just really don't like it so i own the first two movies in the hunger games series and they're also like collector's editions as well let's open this up 
I haven't opened this up in years. Catching Fire is my favorite movie in the series. Ooh, look at this booklet. Oh, amazing. Wait for it, wait for it. The love of our life. And then we have Stinky. Then I have a copy of Despicable Me. I got this as a kid. I love Despicable Me. People who don't like the minions, I just don't get it. I think they're so endearing. I think they're so cute. So apparently I own a copy of Despicable Me. So there we go. Then when the Blu-ray edition of King Richard came out, Warner Brothers kindly gifted me a box celebrating the release of the Blu-ray. So I have a Blu-ray edition of King Richard. This movie is absolutely fantastic. Just a really great sports movie, and I won't say that a lot for sports movies. And of course, I own a copy of Frozen. Who doesn't at this point? I also own a copy of Moana, which is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Even though I have Disney Plus and they would never take Moana off of Disney Plus, I still own this copy. There's no point in getting rid of it. One of my favorite superheroes of all time is Deadpool. So when the Deadpool movie came out, I fell in love with it. I love Deadpool. His humor just really speaks to me. So I own a copy of Deadpool and I love it. It's great. It's a great movie. He's a delight. I also own a DVD edition of Tangled, one of the best Disney movies ever made. You can argue with the wall. I own a copy of Inception. We all know this is one of my favorite movies of all time. I have to own a physical copy of all my favorite movies. Another favorite movie of mine, Dirty Dancing. Ugh, this movie was our designated movie that we would rewatch over and over again during sleepovers in high school. I have seen this movie probably over 20 times. It is... It is so beautiful. It's on par with Step Up. I just love movies where people are dancing. I love it. I love watching it. Another favorite movie of mine is The Dark Knight, and this is also like a special edition. It has a lot of behind the scenes footage. Another favorite movie of mine, Goodfellas. Goodfellas is actually one of my comfort movies. Hear me out. If I'm ever in the mood to rewatch a movie, Goodfellas is one of the movies that I will rewatch. I just find it to be so enjoyable. It is so dark, it is so twisted, but it's such a fun ride to take. So whenever I was going in between channels and I saw it playing, I would just kind of stop what I was doing and watch the movie from whatever point that it was playing on the TV. I have seen Goodfellas again probably over 20 times. Fantastic. Another Batman movie, we have The Dark Knight Rises. This one's kind of like holographic-y. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't change that much. You're not missing out. Another favorite movie that I will defend for the rest of my life, and it's The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is fun. The Great Gatsby is a great time. The Great Gatsby did what it had to do, and I will defend this movie for the rest of my life. If you want to hear me talk about it more, I will link my favorite book to movie adaptations video down below because this is a good, fun movie. <laughs> and then my favorite movie of all time, Casablanca, which is the perfect segue into my Casablanca box set that my friend thrifted for me at Book Off. So this is a collectible box set that they thrifted for me and it comes with so many different cool things. It comes with a bunch of different promotional posters from the movie, absolutely beautiful. And one day I want to frame them all and kind of have like a wall collage of Casablanca posters. It also comes with a photo book of the movie. And then it comes with a three disc set of the movie. It has special features. It has, oh my God, I forgot. It has an interview with Lauren Bacall. I feel like I have to watch that because Lauren Bacall is one of my favorite actresses of all time. One of my favorite people of all time in history. Oh my goodness, yes. It has so many fun extra features for Casablanca that I have not watched yet, but I definitely do want to get around to it. So I own the Blu-ray of it, but then I also own the DVD edition. And those are all the movies that I own physically. These are all the movies, like I said before, that I have in their DVD or Blu-ray boxes. Again, I have so many movies downstairs that I own just a disc of that I could show you, but it's just too much to show you. I have like Scooby-Doo, I have Shrek, I have Ratatouille. I have like so many childhood movies downstairs that I don't own the boxes of anymore, but these are movies that I've collected throughout the years from teenagehood to adulthood. 
of my favorite movies that I would endlessly rewatch that I want to own physically rather than relying on streaming services to be able to access any of these movies or shows. So again, if you want to be able to collect your own DVDs or Blu-rays, check out thrift stores, check out Target, Barnes & Noble, and I think those are the three places that I go to to get DVDs. The thrift stores I check out the most because they are the cheapest and I get these DVDs for like one to two dollars and they're just a hit or miss. You just have to be really patient in terms of trying to find your favorite movies to own physically. Let me know some of your favorite DVDs that you own. Do you have any special editions that you want to brag about in the comments? And let me know if there are any future movie or TV show video ideas that you want me to do in the future. If you want to follow me on Letterboxd, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere else, all those links will be down below. And if you have stayed this far in the video, leave a disc emoji down below to celebrate the whole reason for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very specific and it's for a very specific type of crowd, but I think that the people who collect DVDs and the people who love movies in general will enjoy this. So I hope you had a good time and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.